Okay. You help several little old ladies cross the street to get to their aerobics classes. Why aren't you nice? Jones, you didn't show up on time, and I want those TPS reports stat. Jones, where do you think you're going? I did not authorize you for an extended lunch break. You eat your fries, and you get back here in 20 minutes. You do not go to that stupid university. I don't want you getting a better job. I'm your boss, Jones. Jones, don't tempt me, Jones. Oh, I wish I could fire him. Imagine that was like a benefit. If one player worked at a place and was like your boss, they could have like some say over how you spent your turn. I mean, that would be just so unfair. Um, but conceivably pretty hilarious. Oh, he, he has enough education to be a prof. Damn, good for him. Oh, shoot. I was, again, was not paying attention. Don't know what job he got. Guess I'll find out when I watch this video later. Publishing? How would that help you, though? Like, I don't see any, like, publishing houses in this little block of suburbia that we live. I watched The Librarian's Dilemma again. Watch The Matrix or something, man. You're, you live such a boring life. You know what this leaves out, actually, is finding a companion. Um, so in many ways, this game kind of has lots of similar themes to The Sims. Um, but, you know, it does not have the whole romantic aspect to it. Okay. Um, I don't know, what should we buy? Gold? Silver? I don't, I have no idea even what's going to go up or down. Um, I don't know. T-bills? I don't know what a T-bill is, but I've heard the name before, and I think that's the thing. Uh, we'll deposit a bit more money with them. It's always good to deposit money with the bank, because you can get robbed in this game. That is a thing that happens. Um, and you definitely don't want to lose like a thousand bucks if you get robbed. We're going to learn a trade. We're working in the bank, but we're, we have curiosities about welding and construction. You know, maybe, maybe we want to shift to the factory at some point. For right now, we're happy where we are at the bank, but... Um, and I cannot believe that this economy is so bad. So normally in this game, the economy goes up and down. Prices of things go up and down. I mean, we have been in like a, the worst slump ever. Everything is so cheap and wages are so bad. Um, ideally, what you want is wages to go up and get a good job. And then you want this slump to happen because then you live like a king. Spent the whole weekend watching some of the food in the refrigerator grow mold. It was fun. You live a boring life, my friend. Six hundred and seven is smackers. Let's go pay our rent. Um, we are totally going to do this. So we, we're paying rent twice, but it will save us money in the long term. Um, cause we're crazy like that. We're crazy investors. All right, and what do we got here? Um, I want a TV. Wait, Ooh. I'm gonna save up and get a computer. For now, I've been living for 20 weeks without a TV. No human being can do that. Like, how much TV do you guys watch? I mean, I guess you have to roll in like these days watching stuff on YouTube and stuff with watching TV. But like, I watch a lot of stuff. I think everyone does. Maybe I'm abnormal though, but uh, huh. now I pay less rent than you, buddy. Although it cost me a bit of money. I had to bribe the super to let me do it. I had to formally switch to a low rent apartment than a high rent one. But yeah, how much TV do you guys watch? I watch quite a bit and my guy let live for 20 weeks without one. That is a long time to go without watching any TV. And he has no friends, no girlfriend, nothing. I don't know how this guy spent his time. In fact, sounds like a recipe for like a, a psycho killer or something. He has no hobbies. What does he do? Spent the whole weekend watching some of the food. He did that last weekend. How much mold is in this guy's fridge? My God. Um, okay. Time to make some more money. Time to buy some groceries. Um... 
Let's keep making money because I really want a computer. My guy has heard things about this this internet. He wants to see it for himself. Um Yeah, you know you know what I was gonna say about computers though, and like watching stuff on computers? Is how long do you guys think before like TV will actually be a thing of the past and like really I mean, you're watching this right now on YouTube, maybe on your phone, maybe on your computer, maybe on a TV, you know, they're smart TVs and stuff, but you're not watching this on cable. And so the question is how long before cable really becomes a thing of the past, like TVs drop away and really all video comes through the internet in one way or the other. Um, I think that's the big shift that's coming. Uh, this weekend you won first prize in a beauty contest, collected $10, whoops, wrong game. Wah wah. Um, yeah, so that's a big shift that's coming in society at some point. I don't know when it's actually going to hit. People like their TV. But again, you know, like Netflix and stuff, TV is shifting to be online. So at what point will TV just all... Let's get a VCR too. We're going to be on the computer so much, we want to be able to record our favorite shows. Um, let's make some more money. Didn't have time to buy groceries. I hope I have food at home. Hope all that mold growing in the fridge wasn't bad for me or something like that. Um, we should check our goals because I've been buying a lot of stuff and making a lot of money. So I may be perfectly fine in terms of wealth. Maybe time just to educate myself and relax. This is like, it's been <laughs> 22 weeks. How long is that? Four months? Well, it's been a rough four months, but uh, I finally have all the money one could ever require. Now I can just spend my days relaxing. And I'm like a, a, a PhD, you know, engineer. You know, I, I could pursue my business degree too, but eh, it's a, like two more weeks. I just really don't want to waste on more education. I've been in school for, for 10 weeks now. I mean, come on. At some point, you know, enough is enough and you just got to get into the workforce. 10 weeks. You went to the San Diego Play in Over the Line Tournament. Okay. Ooh, 56 bucks with a computer. That's what I wanted to see. I don't know how I made such a random amount, what I did on the computer. Damn it, Jones. How are you beating me? How? He, he has all the education he needs, but he has no money too, but he's better on the other things. Okay, let's let's get serious here. I need money and happiness. <laughs> well, first of all, let's go here. Let's see if I can be an investment banker yet. Yes, okay. I am now the head honcho at the bank. Let's see the broker, see how my stuff's going, doing. Nothing. Jeez. If I get robbed, I will be so sad. Okay, we need like a freezer. Enough time, please. Ah! Please sell me something. <laughs> Spent the weekend wondering if black holes were lit with black lights. Ugh. The the some I mean, you know, it's it's kind of endearing how bad the writing is. Colas. Can you can you live off colas for a week? And I like how he's buying like a week's worth of fries. It's like, you know what, give me, you know, 40 orders of French fries. I'm gonna be living off this stuff for a while. That does not seem healthy. Um, I want Jones to get robbed. He has like 700 bucks in his pocket. Yeah. Publishing. Why are you going into publishing? What are you going to publish? Your memoir? Stop it. Rent is due. Can't believe they want $200. It's really nothing, to be honest. Um, pay rent for one month. You know what? Let's do it one month in advance, too. I'm, uh... I'm a rich banker now. I can afford these things. They don't mean too much to me. I'm just gonna work. 
made 800 bucks. I wonder if he made a modern game, you know, about this, I wonder where all the prices would land. I guess it really depends where in the country you live and stuff. I'm here for all your renting needs. I think she's coming on to you, Jones. She's definitely coming on to you. I should, let, let's buy another newspaper. I wonder what's going on in the world. He just loves his fast food. And his freaking education. I need to educate myself too. I'm working on the whole money aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that computer, how did I make that 54 bucks? Do you think I'm doing like webcam stuff? Like, you know, stuff my family wouldn't be too proud about. They found out it was me. I don't know. You don't have really any control over the weekend, so. Librarian's Dilemma, again with the stupid movie. What is this movie about? Okay. Um, gonna make some more money. We're gonna go clear out that electronic warehouse or whatever. Do not get robbed. Thank God. Okay. So we don't own a freezer. We don't own a stove. We don't own a stereo. We don't own a microwave. Uh, we can't afford a hot tub. Who earns? Uh, we'll be back for that next week. Okay. We're just rolling in cash. This is how bankers actually live, I imagine. You drove the seniors. He spent 78 bucks? Jeez. I wouldn't be so foolish. I wish you could like get a girlfriend in this though, or a boyfriend if you were a girl or whatever. Um, I wish, you know, they, they included that element of life. It's one thing that's missing. My guy lives a very shallow existence. Works from nine to five, making all the money he can. Buys as many possessions as he can. He's not really happy though. He's not happy on the inside. He, he feels like he's living a shallow life. He's only a few steps away from suicide in any given week. Poor guy. <laughs> oh man. This guy's like an engineer. Where does he work again? I totally blanked on all this. Okay. Goals. Come on. I should be happy. I own lots of things. Damn it. And how am I still so low on money? Makes no sense. Let's buy a month's worth worth of food. Let's go work. That's that's what we do to fill the, the sad void in our life. Okay, now we're gonna go buy that hot tub that will now complete us and make our lives wonderful. So we literally own everything else. Refrigerator, freezer, stove, color TV, VCR, stereo, microwave. I mean, I could buy, start buying extra TVs, but I feel like I don't need it. Okay, we're just really gonna start doing work and school. Maybe relaxation, we'll sneak that in there. I believe Jones is beating me though. Such a shame, it, it would be like an embarrassment if he beats me. With games like this, like in the early stages, you're always like struggling to get by. You know, we're reaching a point where we, we're like living comfortably. I can, I have the best job at the bank. I can make as much money as I want. I've literally cleared out this whole appliance store, bought everything I ever needed. Um, you know, I can choose to go to school or to work. I can buy four weeks of groceries at a time. So I'm never concerned about food or anything anymore. Um, you know, it's really interesting because with these games, it's like you work for this point. I mean, this is the same same thing that happened in like River City Ransom. Okay, hold on. You spent the weekend in the laundromat washing your clothes. And that was exciting. This guy lives the most boring life. I feel sad for him. But yeah, in like River City Ransom, it was the same thing. And in any RPG, you know, you, you struggle to become powerful. But then there's this weird thing that happens where once you are powerful, it's sort of like, oh, I got robbed. Wiley, Wild Wild Willie has lifted another wallet. That sucks. That's okay. Doesn't really matter. Only had 400 bucks on me. That's nothing for me. Um, 
But yeah, so you struggle to get to these these points, and then when you do get here, it's sort of like I don't want to say the game becomes boring, but it becomes a different game because the challenge is no longer in um, you know becoming powerful or getting the security or anything you need, but it's sort of just like accumulating things at, at this point. Like honestly, my guy lives a pretty good life now. He's pretty educated, he's pretty good at the bank, he has all the possessions he could ever need. He could just coast. I mean, I could like sign off of this game right now and be like, all right, dude, just go find a girl. Like at this point, like th there's very little left for you to achieve in life in terms of climbing the ladder here, keeping up with the Joneses. But, uh, You stupid professor. Maybe he just wanted to change a vocation, man. He just took a job at a lower wage. Interesting. Weekend you won first prize in a beauty contest. Stop telling me that. Tell me something real. Don't mock me. You wouldn't like me when you mock me. All right. If I get robbed again. Can I, I need, <laughs> can I buy a gun at the pawn shop? defend myself okay let's let's see what my oops goals are if you notice this menu this is totally the same menu that they have from uh, Sierra has in other Jones things like about Jones interesting oh more okay hold on status I want goals yes Jones is beating me he always beats me okay let's let's just work on education for a while uh, uh pre-engineering i'll become an engineer i've had enough of this whole banker game i think i'll become an engineer he had to go to he bailed his nephew out of jail hmm. see i paid my rent one month in advance buddy oh and your fridge is breaking down sucks to be you i also pay less in rent What are you guys trying to achieve? What do you? Th What's your goal here? Do you want to own a house? Do you want to own an apartment like this dude, with home sweet home strewn across your wall in an '80s portrait? You're trying to better yourselves with education. Education really is kind of you know what everyone has to do these days. You volunteered to take a local scouts to Disneyland. I went to Disneyland and only spent 53 bucks. Wow, this must have been the 90s. Um, well, let's buy some groceries. I think I'm probably out. Let's buy a month's worth of groceries. Go to the university. Thank you. Just become an engineer, man. By next week, I'll be an engineer. It doesn't take long here. This is a sick friend. He spent $71 visiting a sick friend. I think my maybe my guy's just ultra cheap. You know, like he watches mold grow in the fridge. He, you know, doesn't, I, I don't know. He doesn't really do anything on weekends. When he goes to Disneyland, he barely spends 50 bucks. This guy visited, Joan visited a sick friend. He spent 71. Spent your weekend thinking about work. Each, yeah, look, look how boring he is. I made 86 bucks with my computer. What am I doing? Am I doing like Nigerian scams or something like that? I'm a banker who on the weekend makes money on his computer. I think my guy is obsessed with all the wrong things in life. Or I guess all the right things if, uh, you know, depending on what your personal values are. But I don't personally think that money is the be all and end all. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it. I just became an engineer, and now I'm studying electronics. I'm gonna start making a lot more money with that computer. Don't you worry about it. I feel like I should be good in terms of education now. Jones. So he has like more of an academic education than me. I'm more business and uh, 
business and engineering. Sucker. You ain't never going to get that job, Jones. The factory don't want you. Oh, crap. How do you get a job as an engineer? I'm the engineer. Weekend playing with Sarah patching plaster. My god, he lives such a depressingly boring life. Alright. Oh, Jones, you're in trouble, my friend. Jones, you are in... Oh, we both need to make lots and lots of money. Okay. First of all... Oh, look at that sweet apartment. TV, VCR, stereo. Where's my computer? Do some relaxing. All I'm going to do now is relax and make money. That's my, th this is it, man. Down to the wire. We are educated. We have jobs. It is now about making the moolah and chillaxing. So I'm now at the point where I'm like one of those bankers who like makes a ton of money during the week and like blows it on ridiculous stuff just to be happy. I'm like paying for like escorts, throwing cocaine parties. I mean, you're going to see his, ooh. He's in business attire, too. Um, you're going to start to see, you know, a whole different side of my guy. You thought he was this, like, boring guy who ate Lucky Charms in the dark in his underwear, staring at his fridge all weekend, like some kind of psycho. Now he's, like, going to join the, like, social elites of the banking industry. Did you watch? It only took him 32 weeks. How long is that? That's not even a year. Weekend you hung out at a mall, filled up on junk food, make your mother ashamed of you. Okay, well, this is not, those, those are not the, the fun, insane cocaine parties I was talking about. He's getting to those. Okay, we gotta do a bit of work first, though. You can't throw a cocaine party on a, a shoestring budget. I'm gonna buy some groceries. Gonna go to the rent office, pay our rent. Um, we're going to pay for two months, just so we don't have to do this again. Now we're just going to go chillax, man. We're on flex time hours at the bank now. You spent the weekend examining yourself. Look at, that. Look at this idiot. I'm beating him at life on so many levels. Again, the way he lives his life has no bearing on me. Do you guys feel competitive with other people about your lives? Do you have like, do you have like a nemesis where like, you know, there's somebody out there and when good things happen to them in their life, you're just, you really dislike it because you want good things to happen to you. I mean, those are things, I mean, honestly, here's a bit of advice for you. In the long term, you're only competing against yourself. So don't compare yourselves to others. It will make you unhappy. But at the same time, people sometimes do. So I, I'm just wondering, do, do you feel like you compare yourself to others? Do you have like a specific person you kind of compare yourself to in terms of where you are in life? You went bowling with friends this weekend. 42 bucks. Well, you know, there's that, yeah, quote unquote, bowling for 42 bucks. It was mostly cocaine. Um, he's a banker in the 80s. These things happen. Jones, I was behind you the whole time, buddy, and guess what? I am now rocketing ahead of you 3% higher. I have more earning capacity than you. Um, in fact, I'm just going to go quickly see if I can get a raise. Shh, damn. You know, I feel I feel like I kind of am going to want to come back and play this game at, again at some point. Because realistically... One thing that I was never able to show you is how the fluctuating economy really influences this game. Literally, we've been at the bottom of the barrel in terms of wages and in terms of um, all sorts of stuff for the whole game. I mean, you can get jobs for like $27, $30, $40 an hour. I'm an investment banker working for $11 an hour. Um, and I don't mean you can get $40 an hour jobs in the real world. I mean, in this game, you can. So really, I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. I've never seen a game of Jones like this where, I mean, normally you go to the employment office and you get raises on the jobs you have and stuff. Um, this is, this... you're never gonna get that job, buddy. They don't want you. 
Um, but yeah, this is this is strange. It would be like, um, you know, there's games like Gazillionaire or Trade Winds or whatever. We have to buy supplies in one port and then sell them to another or, or travel through space to another one, then sell them for a profit and so on. Um, this would be like if in one of those games, literally prices just stayed at the bottom of the barrel and they didn't fluctuate up ever. Again, I've never seen this happen in a game. Spent the weekend listening to the newlyweds next apartment set up a waterbed. Oh God, his life depresses me. I... More S and L's fail, economy suffers. Savings and loans, uh-oh. I gotta check my investments. I mean, the good thing is everything is literally at the bottom of the barrel. There's nowhere for any of this stuff to go. Um, okay, well, I mean, I might as well just work. Uh, deposit a bunch of money so it doesn't get stolen. Let's buy some groceries. Like when we first played, when, on week one or two, you go back. One week of groceries was 61 bucks. Now it's 27. The economy is in the crapper. Let's see what's going on in the news. Oh. I got that one for free. <laughs> Why would they? Okay. Eh, just buy some lottery tickets. Why not? Eh, let's go back to work. We're bored. You washed and waxed your marble this weekend right before it rained. Okay. Hmm. He does make a lot of money, though. I dislike that aspect of uh, Jones here. So I guess when I, what happens when I make more money than him? Do I get to like, I don't know, I beat him, but like, does he even know I exist? Are we just two guys living our lives? Spent the weekend playing your stereo. Okay, imagine, imagine you were like uh, some omniscient god, and you actually did pick two people in life. And you kind of watch watch their lives and fast forward, and you just had them kind of competing in this way, and they had no idea the other person existed. That'd be kind of funny, and you could like take bets on who's gonna go. Uh, uh oh, I'm gonna lose my job, aren't I? Damn it! Yep. Oh, everyone lost their job. That, that's okay. I have lots of money invested in things. Let's, you know what, let's try for this job he keeps trying to get. <laughs> well, they hired me in a second. That's because I am the boss. Sucker. Spent the week wondering black holes with black lights. Okay, we're going to have to check our, like, goals in a second. Hopefully he gets a crappy job. <laughs> oh, you work at the factory, eh? Well, you work for me, buddy. And I don't like slackers, Jones. Can I fire him? I want to fire him. Have a good day. At Black Smart. Don't that the cans and expect a discount. Oh god, is he gonna buy like lottery tickets so slowly? Okay. I know if he was gonna spend 800 bucks on lottery tickets. Jeez, he's he's educated. How how was I how was I able to get that job but he wasn't? I guess I had the right kind of education. Spent the weekend listening to newlyweds. They're still setting up that damn waterbed. Yeah, I don't care about that. Twenty five bucks to repair a microwave. I'll just buy a new one, man. That's how I live my life. I guess I got really happy at one point, and literally my happiness just never declines. The Sims, it goes up and down. You know what? Let's just go back to that for a sec. I want to see what he's up to. He needs cash. Okay, so, I mean, really? It's all about making money faster than him now. And making sure we don't lose it to being robbed or whatever. Oh, penny stocks. 
Okay, this this seems really stupid what I'm doing, but they're at three dollars. If they go up by to four or five, which they often do, I could make tons of money. You have no idea. I'm clicking as fast as I can. I wish there was like a buy all option or something. I don't know if the, the game engine for this really could have handled it. But okay, we are heavily invested in penny stocks. What is a penny stock? I have no idea about investments. What's a pork belly? What's a blue chip? I have no clue. No earthly idea. I hope I get robbed for this one dollar. It's my lucky dollar. Nope, didn't get robbed. Well, I just made $800 to recover. Bill, your nephew out of jail. Oh, and all your food went bad because you don't have a freezer like a freaking boss, like me, like your boss. I am your boss. It'd be interesting too if he tried to apply for my job and it kicked me out of the job or something. I don't know if it would ever do that. Wait, crap, I, he goes so fast sometimes, I don't even notice. Uh, I don't know what job he has. Yeah, you, you and I are both sharing the managerial position, aren't we? Finally, we meet on equal footing, Jones. Now it's just a race to see who can make more money. Did nothing. But I made 25 bucks with, so what did I do then? It says I did nothing, but what did I actually do? Jeez. Well, guys, we're in the home stretch of this game, which really just seems to be making money. What do you guys think of this game so far? Um, do you, and do you think this would be a fun board game? I I totally see it is a board game, um, but I think a lot of the mechanics of it would be a little hard to fully translate into board games because you know. Um, keeping track of the exact dollar amount you have in investments and this and that and the prices of things going up and down Those are hard annoying calculations for a human to do. So this is definitely a board game, but it's like a computer assisted one And I think it has to be I don't I don't think this would really work as a board game um, But what do you guys think of the game itself as a game? Um, I quite enjoy this game. I remember playing it as a kid. It's a lot easier now to uh, do good at it Oh, hold on you read a romance novel, Nurses Turn to Cry in one sitting. I think my guy, he's watching Librarian's Dilemma, Nurses Turn to Cry. He's a very feminine dude. He's not the, he's not the manliest man you've ever met. Um, give me a month of food, buddy. I'm gonna go, let's see my broker. See how things are doing. Okay. I'm not gonna reinvest in all those penny stocks. Let's just deposit most of this money. Eh, hell, deposit it all, because I'm just going to go make it all back. Bingo. So yeah, what do you guys think? I, as I said, I enjoy this game. I think it's a really fun, interesting game. I think if you have more people, there's more like incentive to do better than your friend. And then it really does become life in the fast lane, jo keeping up with the Joneses, you know. This, I'm, I'm gonna beat the computer. Do we have any doubts? Come on, I'm kicking his butt. He had an early lead, but, um, well, he's investing in gold. Hope that doesn't come to bite me. Made 97 bucks, pretty fast, actually. Watching Star Trek reruns, yes, finally. That is also something I would do over the weekend. <laughs> Spend the entire weekend watching Star Trek. Um, I spent the entire weekend watching Kenny vs. Spenny a couple weekends ago. If you don't know that show, check it out. It is like a real-life Tom and Jerry with two Canadians. Um, and they literally do the craziest competitions you've ever seen. Like, who can eat the most meat? Who can piss off more people? It is crazy. It is not scripted. It is reality. These guys are nuts. And, you know... I'm, I'm not a huge fan of like Canadian content because sometimes, you know, like Nickelback or something, they just like jam it down our throats because it's Canadian. And I'm not a fan of liking something just because it's Canadian, but I have a bit of pride when Canadians do something really good and funny. Kenny vs. Spenny, man. Never heard of that show. You definitely need to check it out. All the episodes you can watch on YouTube right now, and they are crazy. Um, you know, in the earlier seasons, they were simpler, like who can stay up the longest, who can... Uh, 
you know, who's the better chef and so on, but they get crazier as the years go on. Um, and I won't even spoil it by telling you what some of those crazy things are. All right, let's, I didn't even look to see what I did over the weekend, even though it was a unique thing. I'm, woo, where did I click? No, I don't, forget about school. I'm done with that crap. I work at the factory. There's literally nowhere higher in life that I could climb right now. I, I walk around with $2,000 in my pocket. Wall Street Journal. What else is a good show worth marathoning? Um, I do like Star Trek. I will admit. Um, I, I can almost... Mar any show that I enjoy watching, I enjoy marathoning it. Netflix, I think, is really something that spurred that into the, the mainstream. Uh, people really like marathoning their shows these days. And, you know, I think if you watch cable still, you'll see, like, marathons of shows more frequently than they ever used to have. And I think it's because of Netflix. To compete with Netflix, TV has really had to change and uh, grow. And Netflix has shown that people like to marathon stuff. So that's what TV is doing now. Okay, let's deposit all this money. Okay, let's check up on our guy here. Oh man, I am blowing him out of the water. Man. I mean, I'm gonna win it any turn now. Let's just see here. Let's look at our statistics. Work at a factory, general manager. I have $5,700 in reserve. 3200 worth of materials, investments. <laughs> I'm worth $10,000 and I'm like the richest guy in town. Imagine if that was still true. Jeez, I have 13 weeks worth of food. I don't need groceries for a while. Look how educated I am. Junior college, businessman, academic, graduate school, postdoctoral training, trade school, engineering. Man. I'm, uh... I don't know what I am. I'm crazy, though. Um, so this is going to wrap up in a few turns. I'm just going to like head straight to the factory and just work the entire week because I don't need Ant to do anything else. Um, but yeah, this is a game you guys should check out um, if you like the looks of it. After playing this, I'm kind of tempted to try something like The Sims, but I feel for really like um, abstract games like that, it's much harder for me to... Oh, God. Can I speed this up? Uh, is he just going to sit here and buy tickets forever? I'm going to speed up his turn, actually, because we're, we're in the final stretch. There's no need to watch him go through it at this slow pace. But yeah, with really abstract games like The Sims and stuff, my concern is those games take really, really long to play. And my style here is to kind of play games, give them one good video. So they get about an hour of gameplay. I mean, this one is going to be quite long. This is going to be a long video. I'll probably split this up into two. So you're probably watching part two um, of this video. Get robbed. Damn, he didn't get robbed. Okay, let's let's speed up this Jones dude. He's, he's cramping my stuff. Oh, never mind. I won! And Jones is like dancing around me. I turned him into my fairy princess as the winner. That is right, my friend. You work for me now. I'm the boss. Look at me, this is Gaming Jay in the 80s if he'd gone to business school and become an engineer and been in grad school and been a successful banker slash general manager of a factory. Um, oh, that's fun that lets you continue. Civilization does that too. Once the game is over, you can still keep playing um, to see like how far you can get. Anyway, um, hopefully you've enjoyed this, this playthrough. If you have, give me a like, give me a subscribe, because we'll be back in a couple days with a new video um, and a new game. Um, and until then, guys, um, yeah, peace.